Dusty. I want you to meet Benjamin. Well, I noticed you didn't have any friends, so I signed you up for the Guardian Angel program at church. Hey, Mike. Hi. Hi. Pleasure to be here with you today. Are Thank you excited? You. I'm super excited. I'm excited for people to see the movie. Gentlemen Broncos. Yes. What can you tell us about this? I mean, how far reaches it from Napoleon Dynamite? I know if you're reaching the same audience, you sort of have a cult following. I saw the movie last night. It's hilarious. What do you want the fans to know about this movie? Well, I think the movie, like Napoleon Dynamite, Nacho Libre, and some of Jared's other movies, it's super, um, super funny, super original. There's not, there's nothing really to compare it to. It's such a like crazy comic vision, and uh, so you know, I'm hoping that the people that you know came and loved Napoleon are gonna like this too. It's, it's, it's. You know, Jared's grown as a filmmaker, but it's still, you know, I think it hits the sweet comedy spot. You have a very interesting role yeah. in the movie. I, I like in your character, your, the styling of your character reminded me of a weird Al Yankovic sort of, <laughs> yeah. the crazy I was thinking I looked sort of like an albino slick Rick, but... <laughs> <laughs> so your audience is, is clamoring for an albino slick Rick, are like, ding, I'm there. You're, you're <laughs> I did, well, he put on the wig and he had me grow out my stash and I saw myself in the mirror and I was like, thanks Jared, I'm never getting laid again. Thank you. And you have this albino snake Yeah. That is your prop. Yeah, it's, it's not a prop, it's a real snake. I mean, it is my, it's, that was a real snake, so yeah, I, I had to I'd be a snake wrangler in the movie. Um, did you have any fear of snakes before that? Or I'm not actually afraid of snakes, but it was more, was, was, the problem was the snake poop, which wasn't real poop, but it was as nasty as that. It was like food. I don't know what it was. It was like food or something, but it was, it was so gnarly. And you played a guardian angel. I did. I thought that the movie had several heroes, and I, I thought it was really brilliant the way that we saw three different movies in a movie, basically. And there were several heroes. I feel like Benjamin saved himself. Yeah. Um, his mother was a hero. Yeah. But I felt like you were a hero too. Do you, do you feel like? Oh, I'd like to think I was the hero of the movie. But uh, yeah, no, it, well, you know, Benjamin has no uh, father figure in his life. His father's dead, so his mom gets him uh, a guardian angel. And at first, the guy is, you know, your, the, your worst nightmare of what a guardian angel would be. But I think by the end, Dusty, you know, steps up to the plate and is helpful in, in you know, maybe a little, little ways. Put the pillar down. I beg of you. You stole my story. I don't know what you're talking about. All you did was change the character names and turn Bronco into a tranny. Shut up. I don't know, I don't know what he's talking about. Please, someone seize him. Seize him. You're a fraud. And all you mentioned know you're a fraud. Take him away. But please, show leniency. Always leniency. Yeah. Um, do you hope to get this huge draw like you did from Napoleon Dynamite, or are you just hoping that the people that get you and get the comedy get it and yeah. enjoy it? Well, I mean, obviously you make it for yourself first, and I think that's what Jared does. He just makes a movie that makes him laugh, and I think then beyond it, you know, you hope that like the people that have responded to his movies before are going to laugh. But I, th but I do think that ultimately it's about the theme of the of the movie. I think is about you know people who want to be creative and think their 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 point of view is too offbeat or they're just outside the mainstream or whatever that they don't think that it, there's going to be an audience for what they what they want to create and so hopefully people you know will connect to that you know no matter who they are your mom's smoking hot i play my cards right maybe someday i'll be your real guardian good morning homeschoolers <laughs> Really gonna enjoy the best writer's camp in the state. I'd like to introduce you to one of the greatest science fiction authors of our time, Ronald Shimmerly. I'm assuming you love to write fantasy fiction, except the character names in your stories are suffering. Need thou not be afraid. We can add Onius, Inus, or Anus to just about anything, and it becomes magical. 
So when are you gonna let me read one of your stories? I've let my mom read a few, but they've just made her cry. <laughs> This. Bronco and Vinaya began their assault on the East Factory. Bronco. I am your soldier. I'll cut to the chase. Unless you can give us something worth taking to print, we're just gonna have to let you go. Bronco. I can do better. Bronkainus. Cyclops there, Cyclops there, turrets. Oh my holy crap, surveillance does. I hate those. It's fantastic, get aboard your poopy for print. Oh my gosh, is that the new Chevalier book? You stole my story. Awesome. All you did was change the character names and turn Bronco into a tranny. This is ridiculous. Levine! Come down here, fight me like a man! Seize him. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's plagiarism. I'm completely distressed. I can't even concentrate on my audiobook narration. Gentlemen Broncos. 